Hey people, it's Teal Gamer here, back with another Grim Dawn video, and I'm gonna keep this video as short as I can because I'm going through Tyrant's Hold here, and after I go through the entire thing, both top and bottom, I'll explain what I did after. I'll explain. My hey people, it's Teal Gamer here, back with another Grim Dawn video, and I'm gonna keep this video as short as I possibly can because I'm going through Tyrant's Hold, and after I go through the entire hold from top to bottom eh, in this video, I'll then explain what the hell is going on and so if you're not gonna watch the entire video or you haven't I'm not gonna sit and respond to people being fucking stupid on the forum because they don't know what's going on so I'm gonna quickly go through all this I've already gone through and cleared out the hold now there might be a couple of monsters here and there um, that wandered off or I might have missed in a corner somewhere but for the most part I've cleared out the entire hold and um, again gonna go through this because this is regarding the supposed legendary blacksmith that supposedly the developers put into a game which is why put into this which is why I'm not going to get into this uh, debates with fucking people about stupid development from lazy ass developers and then trying to blame a player for you know not knowing something that the developer didn't bother explaining so um, pretty much the bottom line is is the developer put something in a game it's their responsibility to tell the player and what I mean by tell the player is not some third party site that contains fucking patch notes or whatever the fuck it is. I'm talking about in-game information on the screen letting a person know. Secondly, once they do let the person know, they need to explain to the person exactly how to access the information. Because if they don't, it's fucking lazy development. And quite frankly, I'm so sick and tired of the gaming community defending this type of fucking programming bullshit from developers and then basically telling a player they're fucking dumb because a developer can't explain their own fucking product. So, again, I'm just going to keep going through the top here, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I think everybody knows where this video is leading. So, again, I'm not going to sit and fucking just... I'm not going to sit and respond to anybody being fucking stupid on a forum that either hasn't watched this entire video or decided, uh, well, you're just dumb or whatever or anything else. I'm just not going to respond to that shit because that just proves you guys are just fucking trolling. I have a video... So, if you're going to try to argue against the video, then there's something fucking wrong with you. So, uh, let's, let me continue going. As you can see, I've already been through the entire top of Tyrant's Hold. Now I'm going to go down the bottom, and I'm going to show you uh, to go through that as well. So, again, if, again, if you're not going to watch this entire video, don't fucking reply to me on the forum at all. Because that's just fucking retarded to try to get in the middle of a conversation you know nothing about. Especially after somebody just showed it in a video. So, you're arguing against video evidence. So, let me see here. I'm not missing any sections of this. All right. So far, so good. I've been through every section over here. Now, I'm just going to keep going up. And like I said, I'm going to get to the point of this afterward. Um... I've already been through this section. So I just covered that entire side. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm keeping the map open so you can see. Alright, so I'm going to loop around afterwards. I'm going to go back through here, then loop all the way back around down this way. Uh, if I can. If not, I'll just go back. But I'm not missing any rooms. I'm not missing any passages. As you can see, I've already cleared this entire area out. So again, if there's any couple of monsters that are lying around, it's because they took off or something like that. I don't know. All right. So actually, let me go through here. And I'll just go back through this way. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I've covered this entire section of the map so far. Here, here, and here. All right. As you can see, I'm not missing any parts of this map.
Don't know how I missed that, but whatever. All right, so now I'm back where I started. Now I'm going to continue going through all this. Nah, there's one. Take some dynamite. Okay, so... Nothing in here. As you can see, I'm being extremely thorough. And I'm almost done with this. So, um, as I said, I think everybody can see where what the what I'm leading to in this video. But again, just I'm going to go through this and then start talking about it afterwards. I'm also going to exit to the main menu because I'm not going to have people say I'm not using version 1.0.0.2. And say, oh, I just didn't ignore, I ignored the update and all this other bullshit. Alright, so, I've been through every section of Tyrant's Hold, both up top and the bottom. Nobody's going to fucking argue that because I just did it. So, now I'm going to exit and go to the main menu. And show, I am at 1.0. 0.0.2, which is the updated version. So now nobody can say I'm not using the updated version of this. Now here's my point to this. There is no legendary blacksmith in Tyrant's Hold. You guys can fucking argue with me all you want, but the fact of the matter is, if you're going to tell me, oh, it's the difficulty and all this other fucking horseshit, none of that shit matters. The developers did not give the instructions on either how to access them, access him, or explain where the fuck he is. So the point here is is that the developers, this, this shit about people saying read the patch notes is fucking retarded because reading the patch notes does nothing. On top of that, the patch notes should have came up when the, when the patch was installed, just like in the old days. After a patch was installed, a message popped up in front of you in a text document that it showed all of the, you know, explained everything about the patch notes. You can't even fucking tell me this day and age the developers can't even do that. On top of that, they're on, there's no way to fucking know that there's even patch notes to this to begin with. And don't say, well, every time this is, is patch notes. That's not fucking relevant. The bottom line is the developers didn't tell you this was in the game with in-game information. And secondly, they didn't tell you how to access it. So the bottom line here is putting patch notes out and anybody saying put patch notes out is fucking retarded, period. Because reading the patch notes says he's there. It doesn't tell you anything about how to access him or anything else. If he was in Tyrant's Hold, I would have found him. The reason I can't find him is because either A, he's not in the game and people are making shit up, which is would be fucking retarded of me to say, or B, which I'm more inclined to believe, that there's some secret mission or some bullshit that the developers didn't bother fucking explaining and I'm not going to sit and respond to anybody on the forum well nobody else had a problem I don't give a fuck if nobody else had a problem the bottom line here is I just posted a video showing he is nowhere in Tyrant's Hold and on top of that I'm not going to listen to people saying well you didn't go through all of Tyrant's Hold there's this section of the Tyrant Hold is a fucking fort period if, if it's somewhere else then they need to state exactly where the fuck he is because there's no legendary blacksmith as far as this video goes. I just showed it in, the, in here. So, again, I'm not going to fucking argue with people. I'm not going to reply to stupid fucking replies being left on here. Nobody can be this dumb and all this other horseshit. Because if you just watch the video, this is, has nothing to do with me. This has to do with the piss-poor development of the fucking development team putting shit in their game 
that people pay for and not explaining how to access it and use what you pay for. So this is the shit that pisses me off with this. It's fucking lazy development and people, oh, you want your handheld? I want fucking instructions for shit that they place in the game and I want to be made aware of it inside the game, not some fucking stupid bullshit off of a third-party site that everyone's like, well, you should know enough to read the patch notes. Fuck you. You should know enough that the developers need to stop being fucking lazy and you guys need to stop defending this horse shit about this. So that's really all there is to it. So... This is NPC for you. Yeah, this is TL Gamer. Have a good day.